What's up everyone, it's Lord Vapor, so Draco Mar. Now it's time for another episode of Super Mario 64. Last time on Super Mario 64. We went into a strange snowman refrigerator that had a giant snowman in it. And it was probably one of Bowser's, like, he could be calling it a uh, cryogenic facility or a refrigerator. I'm not actually sure if it was for scientific research of Bowser's or else it was for storing items. But whatever the case may be, we went to that place. Uh, it's got hidden shy guys in it. With, um, that are making ice. As well as supersized emperor penguins. Anyway, if you long jump up that clear section of ground, you can go to this underground waterway that is a bit like Dire Dire Docks with this strange polygonal stone, and you can ground pound these two posts. If you ground down these two posts, and actually manage to get on top of the two posts, you can reach the... You can drain the lake, actually. It, well, at least drain part of the lake. And if you drain the lake, you get to see this very weird-looking stone that's, like, pockmarked. And you get this strange... Because it, it, it's weird, because you wouldn't think you could be able to long jump up to that, but you somehow can, anyway. Get these red coins, but I had to miss all the red coins. I'm just gonna get a life. Like a one mushroom. And jump into this ditch. Now, interestingly enough, that doesn't kill you. All the other times when you jump into a ditch, it kills you. Not this time. Or knocks you out, rather. It knocks you out. But still, not that time. You just fall into a ditch. And again. All the coins. And another one up mushroom. I guess this would be a really good place to farm one up mushrooms. Maybe if you can get all the way up back towards there. Okay, you know what? Maybe we can just get the star. Let's maybe just get the invisible cap. Maybe that's my next plan because it's not easy getting those coins. I mean, that does get a star. One of the secret stars of this game. But it's not what I'm looking for. You want the invisible cap to get other stars in other places in the game that are easier to get than the eight red coins. Which, if I got the right of it, that's what this mission is. Because eight red coin missions are all over on um, Sunshine. Got the invisible cap and saved. And even though we didn't get the star, we still have the invisible cap. And then we can go and jump into a ditch. And we might get that star next time, or later on, rather. I don't think I got the star until later because it's 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 not. It's, it's frustrating to get the eight red coins, you know, on these platforms and such. And, yeah. And I want to try to find some easy stars so we can get to the good stuff. Yes, the really good stuff, like fighting Bowser. And saving... Or are we saving? Or blowing up the Mushroom Kingdom with a flamethrower. Anyway. <laughs> Because that's probably what we're probably doing. Anyway, go to Wet Dry Worlds. Interesting proposition. And we go high in the painting. So that means... We jump here. We can get into this other section of, of area. This other area. And this area... We can... Go and... Get the eight red coins. Swim under the water. Un 
under the gates. Over the gates. These weird green copper gates. They still love copper. I wonder why these red coins are everywhere. What are red coins? Are they like made of some kind of specialized metal? What? Why? Why red coins? Why not silver coins? Why? Why? Why that particular type of coin? I don't know. I don't. I don't even know where they got the idea of red coins from. You know, I've never. I keep saying, I'm going these weird red coin missions. I've never ever questioned why there are red coins in this level. I've never questioned this game. I have never questioned it. I have just kind of followed along. Why are there diamonds under the water? Weird looking diamond like thing. Pyramidal thing. What, what, what is that? And what are these weird... I never questioned, what are those weird spherical things that spit fire? What are those? Little spheres, little metal spheres that spit fire. What are those? What is this place? Why are these trees look really weird? Why? So many questions of why when, when you think about it. When you, you, you stop and think about it. And there's these like, weird brick walls. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe that's granite and the other part is cement. But then there's this other weird rock. And you're like, what is this weird rock? And you don't consider how weird it is until you realize that rock isn't everywhere else. But why is this that weird? And you know, here, we get the invisible cap. Guess what happens? Guess what happens? You can't go through that rock, but you can go through this other rock. You can go through this other rock. And you can go through metal. You can go through metal. You can't even wall jump out of it. But the thing is, the very fact you can wall jump is weird in the mind. Where else do you see? You don't see Link wall jumping off of walls. You don't see... You don't wall jump in Fallout 4. For sure, you do not wall jump. I don't care if you're a man or woman. I don't care who you are. You're not wall jumping. You don't wall jump in... Uh, Street Fighter, unless you're Chun Li or Rashid, and then you do. Don't know why. Anyway, after jumping up that those uh, the really high jumps, think about how high you would have to jump to jump up each one of those ledges. Think about that. Like, I, I haven't even stopped to think about the outrageous stuff you find in Mario games. Seriously. Some of this outrageous stuff Mario does. Like wall jumping. Or jumping up that high. I mean, not a lot of characters jump that high. Like, even in Zelda games. The things that they do in Zelda games, or in Fallout 4, are pretty bloody incredible. Just saying. They already do superhuman stuff in these in these other games. Like, can like one hit kill, like can like do crazy gun stunts and stuff. And even then, it's it's incredible what Mario does. It's not. It's it's weird to the point of being unrealistic. It's like TAC Infinite. It's the most bizarre thing. Probably gonna die or die. Yeah, just just attempting to reach the stinking the stinking Mamma Mia. Trying to jump on the stuff to get into the pool. These weird plant things. We we don't even know what these strange plant things are. And why are they are they tundra plants? Like what? What are those things? Why are they in the freezing pond? Uh, can I hit that? I don't get to go in the thing. I can't. I'm gonna kill myself.
You know what? I'm just gonna go up here to try to avoid killing myself a second time. Just because I can't seem to get on top of a stupid plant. You know, so, some of the things in video games, it seems so easy. Like anti-airs, for instance, in Street Fighter V. It's like, I should be able to DP every single jump. Every single one. And, 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 and tap them out. And yet, it's so hard to get consistent anti-airs. For some bloody reason, it's like... A huge part of the game is anti-errors. A huge part. You wouldn't even realize how important it is to just just DP or jab or to stop them from jumping. Yet it's so hard to get that, you know, time it right. That like the time it right to make sure that the anti-error connects, that it's a large portion of the game. Same with combos. Combos is like hit a punch, hit a kick. Hit another, hit a, 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 a special combination of buttons to put a special, like, quarter circle forward punch, or half, half, uh, quarter circle back kick, or, or forward down forward punch. It seems to just be a combination of buttons, but to train your fingers to hit it every single time is a huge portion of the game. You know? things. It's, it's, it looks bloody simple. It's like, just do this. And then somehow it becomes so hard to do and so much practice that it becomes like the majority of the majority of the effort you spend on it is based on, the, on trying to make a few simple things work the way they should. It's, it's, just, it's such a bizarre phenomenon. I've noticed it again and again. Same in novel writing and stuff. This is like, just get the description of what exactly is going on in the landscape. Ah, 